Right, this is an easy question. We've been given the value of sine a, which is equal to 1 by 2. What we need to do is compute the value of these two expressions. The given triangle is a right angle triangle, right angled at B. Step 1, what we are going to do is, we are going to be using this information about sine a and mark the measure of two sides and then use that to compute the measure of side AB. Sin A is what? Sin A is a ratio between the side opposite to angle A, which is BC, that's angle, uh, side opposite to angle A, and the hypotenuse, which is equal to AC. So sin A is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse, which is BC by AC, which is equal to 1 by 2. So if you say BC is equal to a K, then obviously AC is going to be equal to 2K. So we know the measure of these two sides in terms of some variable k, bc equals k and ac equals 2k. Let's apply Pythagoras theorem to find out the measure of ab. ab is equal to under root of hypotenuse square which is ac square minus bc square. ac is a 2k so this is going to be equal to 2k whole square minus bc which is equal to k so bc square is a k square. 2k square is equal to 4, 2k whole square is a 4k square minus k square is the value of AB under root of 4k square minus k square which is under root of 3k square is the value of AB which is equal to root 3k. So you found out the measure of the third side which is equal to root 3k. At this stage let's just quickly consolidate all of these calculations in a printed form. We know that BC by AC is equal to 1 by 2 so if you assign BC to be a k then AC will be equal to 2k. Use Pythagoras theorem to compute the value of AB to be equal to root 3k. Step 2 we have one of the trigonometric ratios for which we have the value sin a. We need the value for sin c, cos a and cos c. We will compute all three of them. Let's start with sin c or we are going to be starting with cos a in this case. Cos a is equal to the side adjacent to a divided by hypotenuse. Side adjacent to a is equal to ab divided by hypotenuse is equal to ac. ab measures root 3k, ac measures 2k. So cos A is equal to root 3k by 2k which is equal to root 3 by 2. We compute the second value. The first one is already given to us. Let's so move on to the third one which is computing the value of sin C. Sin C is equal to the ratio between the side opposite to C and hypotenuse. Side opposite to angle C. This is angle C. Side opposite to it is AB by hypotenuse which is equal to AC. AB by AC is equal to root 3 by 2. Lastly, let's compute the value of cos C. Cos C is equal to the ratio between the side adjacent to angle C and the hypotenuse. Side adjacent to angle C, angle C, side adjacent to it is BC divided by AC. BC measures K, AC is equal to 2K. So this is equal to 1 by 2. Quickly capture this entire thing in a printed form. This is what we have. Make a note of it. Sin A is equal to half. Cos C is equal to half. We have seen it in an earlier video that it will be the same. Similarly, Cos A and Sin E, Sin C are equal to root 3 by 2. Step 3, let's use this information to compute the values of these two expressions. We got the values written down here for our reference. First one is sin c cos a. Sin c cos a, both are one and the same. Both are equal to root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2 minus cos c sin a, both of them measure half. So this is equal to half into half. Root 3 into root 3 is a 3. 2 into 2 is a 4. So left hand side is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is a 1 by 4. 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. So you found out the value of the first expression. Second one is finding the value of cos a cos c plus sin a sin c. Cos a is equal to root 3 by 2. Cos c is equal to 1 by 2. So it's root 3 by 2 into 1 by 2. Sin a is equal to half and sin c is equal to root 3 by 2. So what we have is half of root 3 by 2 plus another half of root 3 by 2 which will be equal to root 3 by 2. So the value of the second expression is root 3 by 2. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. The first one, sin c cos a, both of them measure root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. And cos c sin a, both of them measure half. So it's equal to half into half. So the value of sin c cos a minus cos c sin a is equal to half. Second expression is cos a cos c plus sin a sin c. Cos a is equal to root 3 by 2. Sin cos c is equal to 1 by 2. So it's root 3 by 2 into 1 by 2. Sin a is equal to 1 by 2 and sin c is equal to root 3 by 2. So we have half of root 3 by 2 plus half of root 3 by 2 which is equal to root 3 by 2.